Hi, this is Imran from MyTradeAims.com. Um, in this video, I'm going to address uh, the question of whether the strategy is successful on a higher time frame or other pairs or even different markets. The answer is yes. If um, our strategy is designed to get you into any impulse wave um, fairly easily we have just a simple setup which you all know now I'm going to show uh, different charts randomly I'm just gonna pick and drop I have a few um, for uh, stocks as well and some of the indices so just drag and drop drop let's let's go to the dailies now we can see on the dailies nothing really is happening after that lovely move here which was around last year and another one here which could have entered here and closed here if not closed there was no red line but it was a close on green probably closed here anyway yeah something somewhere around one ratio one and let's put cable on again on the dailies there's nothing going this was probably a trade on setup two close for nothing uh, this was probably a trade on setup two close for nothing around here if you went um, it would be against the major trend it would be closed here or something like that uh, but that was in April 2010 over here a perfect setup if you look at this we have a lovely saddle point you enter here exit here and then that's the third wave this is the fifth all right uh, sorry the fourth because this turns green um, oh since I'm talking about Elliott wave I'll quickly say this is how you count Elliott wave it starts from here you don't know what's happening it's setup two grounded assessment and when there is setup two one and two is somewhere hidden there even if you don't see it, not a problem. Setup two, alligator opens, AO starts peaking. When it peaks around here, we say, okay, so we came from zero line to here, that's wave three. Now we probably will have a wave four, and wave four is from here to here, and when you have this one dot here, this is a minimum requirement. Now you are confirmed that you are in wave four, which is ungrounded grounded is that AO peaked and now it's green going long here would be against the trend the purple at one look would have stopped you going into this which means that purple would have stopped you from growing trading into the fourth wave then it comes near it creates another saddle point you go short here and exit on the blue dot and you have a divergence as you can see that's the low that's the new low that's the corresponding low of this point here but the new low here is lower whereas the AO new low is almost equal that is divergence so that's our five wave on this now let's check something else let's say Euro Yen Euro Yen had a very good setup a few days ago timed with the break of AIMS and the first bar of AO and that's a red dot uh, it would have triggered you on the 9th on the 11th of July a speedy move here back up if you did not exit for that one ratio one or something like that and here you would exit with nothing or if you left it again huge spikes exit here or here or something like that okay that's uh, the day when there was a major drop in March 2011 and then after that it's set up nicely for a, a sleepy alligator or set up one and then went up and by trailing candles you made a considerable uh, good profit one ratio two or something like that or if you close on red dot well you wouldn't close on red dot because you have consecutive green candles and you closed here okay let me bring something else a cad again you had a good setup here this is where this is what I focus on AO close to zero line that's that's what I want I want to start my trades and I time them 
with a break of aims and AO close to zero line. So as a sleepy alligator, red dot, aims level, everything, I'll be short here. Perfect. Okay, let me put some stocks that MT4 shows. That's Anglo American. <laughs> Look at that. But a few days ago, if I was trading stocks on the dailies, we would have, although the red dot came late, if you were looking at red dot, you already had a red dot which would be cancelled by this one. So probably around this area, you were probably looking at going long here. Uh, but at the same time, since you had a setup one, you could have put a pending down here because uh, that's what we do. And you we don't care which way the market goes, we want to be there when it goes. And then if you take uh, taken it, you're probably still in it or thinking or waiting for it. If the next day candle closes on the green line, you probably will exit with 500 points or something like that. Or probably will be a one ratio, two. Let's see. If this is mining, then other mining sector would have gone like this as well. And well, it did drop on this one. A very difficult name for this is it Entofagasta or something like that. Yeah, Entofagasta or something like that. <laughs> And this is ABF. Let me check something else. Oh, British Airways. Okay. Oh no, this is BAE Systems. Right. So we had a setup here, which now now look at this. AO crossing the zero line and close to zero line. That is what we're interested in. This is where we count the wave from. Around here, it's now back close to zero line, but. AO had actually crossed there, so this is an old AO, so you got to be careful. And when we close this, as soon as it comes, it actually diverged. Can you see? And it exited you for nothing. But then after that, it started moving again. And a beautiful move. Okay, Barclays Bank. Alright, same story. Mm. The purpose of this exercise is just this. Look at these charts. These are dailies, these are stocks. And then look at those charts that you have on M1. They all look the same. They're the same thing. Okay, let me just change that to an hourly chart. This is an hourly of Barclays. And look at this. Look at the red dot. Look at the cross of AO and the setup two. And look at this beauty. Look at it. And it comes back to the zero line away from purple. You know that it's traveled already. Back to the zero line uh, here, crosses and very close to it, you enter here and a beautiful profitable trade. Look at this, this is hourly. And then it's come back to the purple, touches it, comes down. Come on, look at it, it's just amazing. And let's see, let's check BP. Well, what's BP doing? Oh, well, BP had a beautiful setup the other day. And again, we are close to the zero line, just crossing. We have a dot, we have sleepy alligator, a bounce of the purple, beautifully done. A third here, a fourth here, and a fifth. You enter here and close. Looking at these charts, you would want to trade anything. You know, you'd want to trade stocks. If you really wanted to trade stocks, you say, okay, I'm going to trade stocks. Now let's just go to the dailies on Experian. Now, this was something that you could not have taken because the purple was here, but it dropped fast. But if you were on a lower time frame, then this set up nicely here, close to zero line and everything. Now let's go and check it on the hourly chart. On the hourly chart it looked like this, and the other day we had a lovely setup. Close to the zero line, alligator sleeping, enter here, exit somewhere here. Okie dokie, let me, let me take it back to the dailies and check a few more things. Okay, US 500. Don't know what the hell is that, but that's what it is. Okay. Well, this is US dollar and Turkish lira. Hmm, look at that. Look at this. Oh, it's not going to look. Alright, look at this, look at this now. This is a setup two. Alligator is open. Here is close to zero line. You've gone long. Exit it here. Beautiful setup. Tesco. Okay, look at the Tesco. It was a nice saddle point. Enter here, 
head on here, drop, very fast drop, trail candles, and exited with 200 and 170 points. Amazing. Now, just to finish this, I'm just going to bring Euro Dollar, take it down to M5, and see. Look at these things. Are they, look at this. Is this any different? Bring it down to M1. Look at this setup. End of the day. Look at this setup. We took this. We it was the end of the day and we were very happy we we got thirty two pips and then later on we were Yeah, 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 regretting it, but what can you do? Seventy three pips. One of my friend got out here, just belief system, just wasn't happy with it. It just one red candle and exit. The other one took ten, the other one took twenty. I kind of thought I'm clever. I took about 32, and another of my friend got 32. But waiting for the red dot meant a nice 80 pips. That's it for now. Thank you.